Hi, my name is Athena, and I'm going to be showing you how to wrap a honey badger. I picked out this camo green color. Um, I always thought it was really cool, and it's textured, and it kind of like shifts when you like switch it up. So I thought it was really cool, and I thought it would look really good on this black honey badger. It's got a little bit of a, a dinge to it, so I think it'll kind of add to the, to the vibe of it, you know? You can find this wrap and others on honeybadger.com for $14. I think I'm just gonna do the body first. I'm not going to rip it. I am lining up the button and just trying to flatten this out just a little bit. So that way there's no air bubbles. Because there's nothing I hate more than air bubbles on anything. trying to make sure that I line the sides up properly because some of them are a little off but just gonna smooth it out no air bubbles All right, so we got the body. So now I am gonna move on to the cap. And then I saved myself the hardest one for last. Why am I like this? I would say this one's the easiest one to do, actually. I like to line this up first. And then I feel like the rest of it just kind of falls into place. Right from there. Like that. And this is just kind of the way that I like to do it. I like my black borders on my badger to be shown because I do like to see some of the color that's under because I like to make the wraps complementary to whatever honey badger that I'm going to be using. You can always do it to your own taste. Okay. Tyler is going to tell me you shouldn't wear your glasses. I never wear my glasses. And the good thing about these is that you can take them off a little bit and they're gonna stay sticky so you don't have to worry about it like not sticking because you took it off a little bit and that's one thing I'm always super worried about is it not sticking after I've like touched it or something but these are really great adhesives and the best for last don't need these it's best that you just take them off right now because it would be really hard to get them out if they're all stuck together. Now this one, it's gonna be a little tricky, honestly, because they don't always match up on both sides. So what I like to do is kind of anticipate that it's already not going to be like 100% fitting. So I like to give it a little bit of a border and do it as close to the, to the top of it as I can. Obviously in line with the holes as close to that line as possible. And then at this point, you just kind of fold it back inch by inch. Boop, 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 boop. So that way it kind of matches up with the ball at the back. And it kind of has that same like little 
top part, top part. Cause it's not gonna be perfect, but you can get as close to perfect as you can. My name is Athena and that is how you wrap a honey badger.